Mr. Speaker, people say lots of things about the character of Albertans, and one that comes up often is that we value fairness. We don't like to hear that someone is getting a special deal when others are restricted from accessing that same deal. Albertans like to compete on a level playing field, and I think that's why the flat tax is really irritating folks these days. The idea that one group, the wealthy, are getting a better tax deal than everyone else rubs against the grain. There is another situation where taxation is unfair in Alberta, and that's the non-residential industrial property tax. This, it, this is a tax that is collected on transmission lines, pipelines, telecommunication lines, railways, cogeneration stations, and machinery and equipment. And when you think about it, most of these are located in large empty spaces, but they are paid for and needed by all Albertans. So where is the unfairness? Well, the money is mostly collected by MDs and counties, and it stays there. So these sparsely populated areas are collecting $1.4 billion for 17% of the people, while the other 83% living in urban areas get to share in only $81.5 million. Put the other way, counties and MDs get 98% of this tax, while cities, towns and villages get 2%. It's just not fair in today's Alberta when two-thirds of the citizens live in towns, villages and cities. Now we can fix this. Today I'm bringing forward Motion 501 to urge the government to distribute the revenue from the combined low expenditure assessments, the same industrial property tax, on a per capita basis across the province. I've been working on getting a better deal for urban areas for some time. In 2009, I brought forward Bill 204, which was a Provincial Municipal Tax Sharing Act to redistribute income tax. The government shot it down. But I'm persistent, and I'm trying again with Motion 501. Please join me in prodding the government to be fair.